Raining today, but I thought I'd make a little bit of a, no, 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 a little video because today is the final SMP treatment. So I thought, screw it, I'm gonna vlog it and show you guys the final result. I think I've got one more session after this, but that's just like a top up. So I only woke up like a half an hour ago. Time is 11, um, 12 18. Not the most flattering angle. So yeah, we're gonna go and see if I can remember the way. Uh, yeah, see you guys there. But you know with your airline, when it settles down you'll see it's been broken up. It's all uneven, it's not a straight line, it's all sort of yeah. see, uneven like that. So. That's perfect. Very good indeed, well done. Nah, that's made you look younger, doesn't it? Hey. <laughs> just, you know like, I mean you've got another wrinkle on your face, but just having that, you know when you, when you start losing your hair? Yeah. Gives you that old look, doesn't it? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, spot on. Yeah. That's it for the fourth session. We actually originally said only four sessions, but I think at the end of this one, Terry did mention that we may or may we will we will have two more sessions just to top it off. But looking fresh, looking fresh, very happy with how it looks. Keep on getting a double chin. This is fucking ridiculous. I'm never shaving again. But yeah, so I'm gonna head home now and uh, proceed with the video. I need to eat because I've not even eaten yet. Oh shit. Okay, we're home. In my little man cave with my... I got a new guitar, by the way. I'm learning the guitar. I used to play one as a teenager, but I've not played in a long time. This one's actually... A th a th I think it's like... Um, what size is it? It's a 3-4. I don't know how, if that's the correct terminology, but it's basically the size of it. It's not like massive, but I just wanted a smaller one because... Um, I hate it when you're trying to play the guitar and you've got your hand around here. My acoustic guitar is massive, but that one's perfect. Spectacular. But anyway, I thought I'd finish off the video with why I chose SMP treatment as opposed to a few hair transplants or hair systems or anything like that. And maybe it can give someone some clarity in if they're trying to decide which one to do. First of all, the reason why, and the most popular um, go to when it comes to hair situations or hair loss even is hair transplants now there's a number of reasons i'm not going to go deep 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 into it i'm just going to talk off the top of my head why i chose to go with this instead of anything else hair transplants they cost a fucking fortune it takes so almost a year and a bit to look halfway decent um painful looks grim and you know you do a bad job uh, you've not only wasted your money, you've gone through the whole healing process and it still looks shit. The thing is with hair transplants, um, only certain people can pull them off. They don't always work. It depends entirely on the person's genetics. It depends entirely on the person's scalp and the type of hair. It depends on all sorts. So 
it's a gamble, really. It's not guaranteed, shall we say. Um, and that's the main reason why I chose not to go with a hair transplant. Uh, hair systems, I considered a hair system. I've actually got one. A company sent me one out and I've, I'm still going to keep it because obviously I'll go into why. But the reason why I didn't choose a hair system, for those who don't know, a hair system is real hair that you basically glue onto your head and it looks, it looks fucking good. I'm not going to lie. The only problem is it's too high maintenance. It costs like 50 quid a month to take off, rinse, shave, glue back on. And it's just an effort. It's just a ball ache. Like. Whereas with this, I can just wake up, shave, done, and it looks badass. Uh, <laughs> so why I chose the SMP treatment is purely because low as fuck maintenance. If I, There's no maintenance required, really, just to buzz it every other day or every two, three days. And it, it looks really good. I liked having a shaved head, so at least with the S&P treatment, it appears that I've got proper hair. I mean, I do really, but my hairline goes back like here. And looking at the video, you couldn't even tell, man. So like, I'm looking at this now and I'm so happy with the result. It just, it's like I've just got a buzz cut and I like having a buzz cut anyway. Don't need to worry about styling my hair in the morning or whatever. And... I fucking love it. I remember when I was on holiday as a kid, I, I used to avoid swimming in the ocean because I didn't want my hair to look shit. How, how vain is that? <laughs> but yeah, so S&P treatment, 100%. Up close, you can hardly tell. You know, if, I've just had the session, so it's you can still notice it a little bit. But yeah, so this is what we're dealing with. And... Two weeks time, I'm going to have another session, but I've, I've paid for all my sessions now. I've only paid for four sessions. Uh, two weeks time, I've got another session, and then maybe a week after that, I've got another session, and then we're done. Uh, that's about it. Really fucking happy with the outcome. Look about 10 years younger. Honestly, you'd be surprised how much of a difference it actually makes. Now, a few people are going to comment saying, oh, I thought you were embracing the shaved head, I thought you were embracing the boldness and stuff like that. Harry from Bald Cafe is a, you know, he's all about being proud about, you know, your bald head. And that is awesome. That is really fine. Um, the reality is, guys, when my hairline was receding, I'm not going to bullshit you. It affected my self-confidence and I found it very difficult to embrace. Even after I made the head shave video and how to be confident with a shaved head, I was still low-key like insecure and no matter what I said to myself no matter what I said or did no matter how good of a body I had I was still insecure and maybe that's not the same case for everyone but it was for me so that's why I chose to get the S&P treatment if it didn't bother me that much I wouldn't have got the S&P treatment but the reality was this was an option for me and I'm not gonna not do it just because I want to send a message up to people saying oh Embrace it, embrace it, because, like, the the reality was I wanted to do something about it. So I made a choice, and I went with the S&P treatment, and I can't even express how much of a difference it's made in my person, in my uh, confidence, my self-esteem. I feel so much better about myself, and I would highly recommend it to anyone out there that is looking for an alternative um, instead of just embracing being bald, because not everybody can do that, not everybody wants to do that. And there are other options out there. There are more affordable options. You can get things like this done on finance. So if you don't have a shit ton of money stocked up, you can pay it monthly. And there's more options now. So yeah, I just stopped lying to myself. I, I'm not going to lie. Like when I was losing my hair, I was insecure. And no matter what I said to myself or did, uh, I was still insecure. So I got it. And now I feel fucking sick. I feel really fucking confident. feel really happy. Uh, I just really like it. So if you're in a similar, similar situation, I would highly recommend it. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.